beautiful girls today I'm going to do a makeup tutorial holiday inspired so this is going to be very appropriate for like Christmas dinner or New Year's Eve any kind of festive occasion basically so I believe it's like perfect for this period of time and this is actually the look that I wore at my Christmas dinner party with colleagues from work and uh, I posted pictures of uh, us on my blog um, I haven't done a vlog about so it you're going to be able to see the pictures on my blog go ahead and check it out if you would like to and yeah, now let me go ahead and show you how did I create this look I used two of my favorite palettes of the moment uh, which are definitely Urban Decay Naked palette look at these gorgeous, super gorgeous colors and also my Sleek Storm palette uh, that I had in my collection for such a long time now but I have just recently rediscovered it and um, I have actually done a tutorial on like everyday natural look that I like to wear with this palette but today for this look I combined the two of these palettes and I believe the result is just gorgeous, you know, perfect, perfect for special occasions. Okay, so I'm going to start by applying an eyeshadow primer on my eyelid. I'm going to use Urban Decay uh, Primer Potion and this will just prevent uh, uh, the eyeshadows from creasing and will help them stay in place throughout the day. And I have a mini size of Urban Decay Primer Potion that actually came together with a naked palette and I'm actually really really loving it. So apply this all over your eyelid and bring it up to your eyebrow bone because we are going to place some eyeshadow there as well. Next I'm taking eyeshadow toasted from my Urban Decay Naked palette and I'm going to apply this all over my eyelid and bring it up just a little bit up until my crease. This next color is from my Storm palette and it's this uh, shimmery golden so color. So I'm going to take this with my angled brush, angled eyeshadow brush by MAC 275 and I'm going to apply this on my crease and just work it in a windshield wiper motion. Kind of back and forth and just you know blending it into my crease. Okay, now I will take this light brown color from my Urban Decay Naked palette and the eyeshadow is called Naked 2. So I'm going to take it with my MAC brush 217 blending brush and I'm going to apply this in my crease just on top of the uh, Storm eyeshadow just to blend out any rough edges. To this look I am taking this shimmery champagne color from my Sleek Storm palette with my fluffy blending brush from MAC and this is in uh, 226 so I'm going to pick up that and apply it in my inner corner just like I'm also so. going to blend it with the other colors that I already have on my eyelid
toasted again and I'm going to use this small pencil brush from Makeup Forever Professional so I'm just going to bring it along my lower lash line Now I'm taking my black uh, gel eyeliner in a pencil from Avon, it's called Super Shock and I'm going to use this to deline my lower and upper lash lines and uh, you don't have to be perfect with this because I'm going to smudge it out just in a minute. out the lines I'm going to use this uh, angled eyeshadow brush by MAC and it's in number let me see 266 you can also use your pencil brush but I'm going to use this one to kind of precisely smudge out these harsh lines the same black eyeliner into my waterline as well this will definitely bring more intensity to the entire eye look now I'm going to take my fluffy eyeshadow brush by MAC in uh, 226 and I'm going to use the lightest shade here from the Urban Decay Naked palette it's called Virgin and I'm going to use this eyeshadow right here just uh, to finish off this look basically just under my eyebrow sweep it very very lightly just like so now coat your lashes with lots and lots of mascara for the best result as usual i'm using three or even four different mascaras and i advise you to do the same i'm using three different mascaras as i've told you and yeah here we go This is it for the eye look, except for one more thing that I like to do whenever I go out, whenever I have a special occasion. So I like to take my Iridescent Powder Loose by MAC and this one is in Silver Dusk and it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous. I collect it a little bit with my just a random small blush brush and what I do is just look up like this and bring it a little bit just under my eyes just like so I'm going to counter my cheeks with matte bronzer I'm going to use this one by New York Color it's in a shade Sunny and it's just a perfect uh, matte bronzer perfect for my skin tone as well so I'm going to collect a little bit of the color with my angled blush brush by Porn Pretty Store and contour my face with it I'm taking my MAC blush brush in number 129 and this defining duo blush by Catrice Cosmetics in shade 10 raspberry ice cream and I'm going to apply this pretty color on my cheekbones just with the swirling motions this will give a little bit of the color to my, my face. My top product is Dior highlighter in Amber Diamond so I could not uh, complete this look without this product. I'm using my small blush brush from Born Pretty Store and applying this uh, highlighter just on the upper part of my cheekbones and this will give it this really perfect glow. Okay so now let me show you the products that I'm going to use on my lips. I'm going to deline my lips with Pupa Non-Conventional Beauty Lip Pencil in shade 19 and then I'm going to bring some color to my lips with this Rimmel, gorgeous Rimmel lipstick in shade 82 Heavenly and it's just a really really pretty plum color and uh, on top of everything I'm going to apply a little bit of lip gloss and this is Plump Pout by and Avon. This is in a shade Berry Plush. It's just a gorgeous berry color and it's perfect for this season, I believe. So let me go ahead and do my lips.
this lip gloss is definitely very very refreshing on your lips I hope you enjoyed watching and definitely do try to recreate this look for special occasions and let me know uh, how was your special occasion how did you spend your holidays as far as my hairstyle is concerned from the photos you could have seen that I actually curled my hair but today for this video I haven't but I do have a tutorial on um, how to achieve these as I like to call them angel curls so I will put the link to my video tutorial down in the info box so you can go and check it out I believe you know um, loose curls are just the perfect addition to this entire thank you so look. much for watching I'm wishing you all the best and the happy happy holidays enjoy and I will talk to you soon bye